know that so few months after we met we became inseparable obviously in love our goals aligned so what are we waiting for let's get married uh, you know so uh it wasn't a situation where i was waiting for him to propose and maybe i wasn't sure that he's the one for me or i'm the one for him no we both agreed we were on the same page that we want to spend the rest of our lives together If you haven't seen how I knew he is the one for me, if you haven't seen the second episode of this wedding series, then I'll put the link somewhere here so you can get to. Watch it, you don't, you don't want to miss out on every detail of this love story. So I was in Kaduna State, it was in Lagos State, so your guess is right, it was a long distance relationship. Of course, at first when we started out, we were both in Lagos, so we had um, that, that moment of being together, always hanging out, to go to, going to his workplace together and all that. But um, the bigger chunk of our relationship was distance. I was in KD and he was in last B. Meanwhile, we both agreed that he gets me a ring so that when I come to Lagos, I can wear it, you know, um, showing I'm officially engaged to him. And he told me that my ring is set. Mm -hmm. So once I'm in Lagos, I'm getting my ring, you know, you know. No, 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 we can already. We can as well just talk. <sighs> In one week, I was in Lagos, ready to introduce my man to my parents officially. As agreed, he met my parents first, my father being a deeper life pastor and his list of questions okay before i came to badagri actually after we agreed that I was come to badagri i um, organized a zoom session for them to meet it was lovely lovely it felt like he was one introducing me to them because he totally stole them from me i mean it like it was so much fun they enjoyed speaking with him and i was so glad that the introduction was smooth so yeah in one week i was in lagos I was in Lagos for him to physically meet my parents and for me to meet his people physically, you know, officially for the first time. So here is the cocoa of the story, the main point of the story. So I arrived in Lagos on a Thursday. He met my parents on a Friday. Then on Saturday, he called me. He said his friends would love to meet me. They've heard so much about me and they want to meet me. So I was like, oh, great. So I said, where? very close to my house they hang up sports close to my house i mean it's a casual outing so no stress i put on the dress and i went there so when i got there it was um a hangout spot outside so i sat with them and we were all gisting they were asking me about what i do in kaduna state and how i'm finding kaduna being a Lagosian, and all of those and i told them how much i'm in love with the north how much i'm in northern and now you know all of those just so when I got there, actually, I met his friend and his cousin. I met his friend and his cousin and some soldiers. I met some soldiers with them, two guys. So at some point, she went in, came back and said, oh, it's too crowded out here. It's too porous. It's too exposed. Um, they would like to take me to the VIP section. So I'm like, oh, okay, no big deal. And I think there was a football match going on that day. I don't know. So they also said, oh, so that they'll have time to watch the football and we'll be in our own space. Nobody to disturb us, what, 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 what not. 
So I agreed and it was, you know, all fun. I was with my babe. So what really matters is being with him and, you know, nothing else. So I followed them to the VIP lounge. We got there. They brought, they bought um, grilled fish, peppered meats, drinks. You know, everyone was there. Okay, fine. And they asked me what I wanted. I said I was fine because... I didn't want to eat out, you know, I had eaten at home. I can't really remember. I didn't want to have anything. So they kept insisting that I must take something. I said, no, I don't want anything. They said, no, you must have fish. I said, I don't want fish. Okay, a drink. Okay, give me water. They said, no. How can we bring you out and you take water? You must take something at least. I said, I don't want to take anything. No, so she insisted that no, even if it is malt, you must take something. Even if it is malt, you can't follow us out here and what you take is water. So I said, fine, bring the malt, I'll take it. It's the first time I'm meeting him, so I don't want it to look somehow. So I said, fine. So he brought a glass cup and the malt. And um, I poured in some, you know, myself. And we were sipping in. So the soldiers were sitting opposite us. Um, she was sat to my right, I think. So I got to extreme left. And my babe sat just right beside me, and we were we got talking, gisting, you know, watching the TV, and having fun basically. And I was having the best time, you know. All of a sudden, let me see. I don't have a glass here. Um, let's say this is the glass cup. I had exhausted, so it was filled up initially, right? So it was somewhere here, you know. Um, and I needed to refill so i picked up the maltina and i wanted to refill my glass cup and my husband held my hand and said no finish the one in the cup first and i was like okay why must i finish the one in the cup first it's my drink you bought it for me and i can do whatever i want with it you know so i want to refill he said no i insist so i was looking at him like what is wrong with this one allow me let me pour my drink you know but he insisted that i must finish the one in the cup what kind of life is this so i looked around to be sure nobody noticed the drama because at this point he has seized the malt he said no finish the one in the cup first so i looked around if no one noticed if no one was paying attention because what kind of embarrassment is this what's your problem why won't you allow me pour the drink you know is it yours is it your drink so i was i felt quite embarrassed and i'm like okay hope nobody noticed what is this what's all this drama babe so i looked around and nobody paid attention so i'm like oh fine so i just took it you know gently and i poured it in my mouth you know just to save myself the drama and get my drink back from babe so i poured the drink ladies and gentlemen i had the ring in my mouth as soon as i had the ring in my mouth it felt like some revelation like omg i should have known but we no no this is not true this is not no tell me to like no 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 save me this moment no thought we agreed that he will bring my ring with his hands like becky take your ring that was what we agreed what's this drama <sighs> so i removed the ring from my mouth and i hit him beside me i said Take your ring. The soldiers, his friend, and um, his cousin, now they're clapping, yay! In my head, I'd be like, what is this? Then he held the ring, and I was just looking at him. I'm like, oh no. Guys, I hate surprises. Like, I don't know how to behave. I didn't know whether to smile, whether to laugh, whether to cry, stand up, sit down, kneel down. I didn't know what to do. I was just, God. That moment i was like no 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 we didn't agree to do this no why did you change the plan babe why no oh babe will you marry me holding out the ring you know kneeling down and i was still sitting there looking at him like okay and they're like say yes yes oh no guys oh no guys if i won't say yes on call mm -hmm. i mean we agreed to get married so why are you telling me to say yes okay i think it's part of the process we will get to say sister say yes sister say yes yes say yes Okay, fine. So I said, yes, I'll marry you, baby. No, that was not how I said it. No. I said, of course I'll marry you. That's what I said. Yeah, of course I'll marry you. <laughs> Anyways, so he gave me the ring. So this is not the ring anyways. This one was given to me on my wedding day. So he gave me the ring. We wore it here. This finger right here. Middle finger, though. 
I didn't even know when I knelt down with him. Like, I was so... <laughs> I was so not thinking straight that I didn't know when I knelt down with him, you know. Um, and yeah, I said, oh, yes, thank you. Mm, beautiful. Oh, yeah, yeah. I said, yes. And we sat down afterwards and everyone was just taking pictures, videos. I was like, oh, no, no way. So in all ceremony or no ceremony, depending on your choice, there is nothing bad with not doing a ceremony. And there is nothing so fantastic about doing the ceremony the proposal thing it's just your choice it's whether you want it or not so the most important thing is that you're sure this is the person you want to spend the rest of your life with so guys this is my wedding proposal story yeah agreeing to marry babe is the best decision in a long while I hope you enjoyed this video if you haven't seen the other videos in this series please ensure you check them out Thanks for watching guys, till my next video, be good.